With the ZModeler brush selected, hover over a poly and press spacebar to open up the ZModeler poly menu. Locate the inflate action. With the inflate action selected, you'll see a series of targets and then a series of modifiers down below. The inflate action will come across different targets on your model and inflate the surfaces outwards, generating a balloon-like effect. By default, inflate is set to a target of a single poly. So if I hover over a poly and just click and drag, it's going to produce a move-like effect on that actual surface. Now using a target more like all polygons and now implying the actual inflate option will give you that balloon-like effect. Now with this effect, there's a few modifiers here that will control how the actual inflate is going to happen. By default, it is set to face normal. With face normal selected, it will inflate all the faces on the model here based on their normal value of the actual poly. Now if you come over here and select edge normal, it is now going to inflate by all the edges of the poly. And then finally you have by point normal, which will inflate all the faces based on the point normal. The actual inflate point normal is very similar to the actual inflate option located in the deformation palette. Using these options along with specific targets, you can come through and apply these different inflates on different surfaces of your model to achieve different looks.